Hey, it's Sam, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to give a little bit of a review of some of the new features in Pro Tools 12.7 that I just downloaded in the last couple days. Just came out. Uh, happy holiday seasons, and we're just a couple days from Christmas. And just wanted to say thank you for uh, subscribing. I got a lot of new subscribers this year in 2016. Started to work a little bit more on my YouTube channel. So, and also wanted to say that in the future coming up here, 2017, I'll be releasing a lot more stuff on my YouTube channel. So subscribe please to my YouTube channel if you're like myself, a uh, enthusiast of audio, mixing, recording guitars, guitar pedals, uh, recording software and it, it, synthesizers, uh, drums, uh, all of that stuff will be part of what I'll be doing in 2017. Uh, more interviews, more reviews, and also look out for in 2017, I'll be releasing some recording tutorials from the studio. I'm not in the studio now, I'm here in the office. Um, but uh, in, in 2017, I will be releasing a, a package of recording videos that take you from uh, the beginning to the end a little bit on my process. I know there's a lot of them out there and there's some great channels out there that are showing the process of recording and mixing and getting your song kind of done from start to end. And I'll be throwing mine kind of in, in that world out there and see, hopefully it helps someone to be able to see the technique that I use and I've developed over uh, 19 years of working in audio, mixing, recording, working with songwriters, hip hop, rock, uh, a bunch of different things. So again, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. And I'm going to, I just, uh, on my office computer here, downloaded 12.7 to see what the new features were. So I'm going to kind of cover what I discovered in the newest update of Pro Tools 12.7. Okay, so what I have for, uh, just to kind of play around here, I downloaded some stems of a Switchfoot song that were released, boy, um, the song is called Float. If you want these steps, stems, sorry, if you want these stems as well, you can just look up stems, switch, foot, if I could type, float. And it was on this site right here, SKIO Music. So I downloaded the stems from there, and it's a competition for remixing. So if you wanted to take it that far and try to remix a song. But I always encourage people for this whole recording and mixing thing. This is a great thing to have these stems available to you and you can really get an idea of what individual things sound like in a professional recording and mix. So it's really invaluable to be able to analyze and look at, um, for example, uh, just what the drums sound like um, alone on this song. It's one of those things you might not realize that that's what their drums sound like when the whole song is in. So you can go listen to the song Float that's on uh, iTunes or I'm sure on YouTube. And then once you have the stems, you can kind of break it down and listen to it. So I brought in the stems just to kind of have something to play around with here. And so here is the lead Vox separated. Bye, bye, bye. Turn it up so I can feel it. Turn it up so I can be near it. And one of the new features in 12.7, that's the main thing that I'm going to address or talk about here, is when you click up here in a window, there's something new under workspace, and that's sound base. And upon first opening this, it takes a little bit of exploring around. Also, when you get 12.7, you get two gigabytes of samples that come with it. And I've already gone through and explored a bunch of these samples. They are already placed out, kind of laid out for you. Um, very similar to what you would see in, I don't know, GarageBand or Logic, I believe has something like this way of organizing samples. So if you just click on drums, um, here you got something and it's organized. Uh, you can click and organize it by name you can organize it by tempo just by, again, clicking up here. Now these are one shot, so there's nothing in tempo. But if I scroll down, eventually you're gonna to get to starting with, I don't know why this is 71.999. Obviously that's 72 beats a minute. Um, and then you have 80, uh, 90. So all of these are laid out in beats per minute. So 
This is a new feature in Pro Tools that I think they really should have had a long time ago, but it is just a better way to sample uh, loops to a track while it's playing. So if I hit play here on the song. Turn it up so I can feel it. Turn it up so I can be near it. And again, if I went to something like drum loops, now this song is 120 um, beats a minute. So if I go to drums and again, click on tempo and I look for something in the ballpark of 120. There's a whole bunch right here. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hit play here. Turn it up so I can feel it. Turn it up so I can be near it. Baby says she's got that feeling. Moonwalking on the ceiling. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. And again, this is kind of a quirky song, so I don't know. <laughs> What uh, I did find some drums that worked. I dragged them, and that's another thing is I wish there was maybe a little bit better way as you're auditioning stuff to have it placed into the timeline. It's still the same old um, create a new stereo audio track, uh, and then you're going to drag it down into here. So most of the people remixing this song are kind of creating it into a dance track. So as I went through and looked and auditioned a bunch of these, this is a drum loop that I kind of was looking at her entertaining. I don't know how well it goes with this, but turn it up so I can feel it. Turn it up so I can be near it. Also when I downloaded these loops it said the song was in D minor. Now when I went to again back to the sound bass. So if you pick loops, let's say we go look for um what do we want? A uh, synthesizer. And again, at the top here, you can click and organize these by if you want all the ones in a certain time signature. Or also, you can click on these to make them a favorite or rate them. That's another great element of this workspace is that you can start to hear something and be like, ooh, I really like that, rate that a five. And later down the road, as you start to rate everything, um, it's easier to pull up those things again, but you'll just be clicking on rating. But for this song, we're going to click on key. So here you go, A, B, C, and we're going to get to D. Now, again, it's in D minor, and nothing here says D minor. So I just, again, same thing, started to play the track, and we'll play it from the top, and I'll just click on links and see if we get lucky and if anything kind of lines up. Burn it up so I can feel it. I don't know. There's a ton of different uh, uh, samples here. Actually, let me see. Maybe there was one that worked better. Let me keep going just a bit more here. Turn it up so I can feel it. Turn it up so I can feel it. So that's one that I heard that I thought, well, maybe that kind of could, you know, be put some effects on it and work in there. And I turned it down. Now, something interesting, and again, you don't, you learn so much by doing something like this where you're remixing a song and kind of playing with loops around it. Um, I started to discover that this song loops around in a funny way. It is not typical 4-4, and it took me some a while to kind of look at. They give you the beats per minute at 120, but I discovered that I believe this song is in 7-8. Someone could correct me if I'm wrong. So um, I had to chop up the sample to turn around in a 7-8 time. So then you get something like this here, and also I'll put in um, their drums too, just for kicks. 
Um, I don't think the bass works. Uh, you'd have to play a new bass or find a loop that worked with a new bass, but here you have something like this. So that's not a perfect like remix and I could sit here and play with it for hours. But uh, so a couple things here, Pro Tools 12.7. Uh, the main thing I just wanted to kind of show off a little bit was this sound based thing. Cause I think that's probably the biggest new feature that we have here with um, everything organized. Uh, there's one shots, there is, um, there's loops, here's dub, you know, and as long as you have clicked up here, um, this little metronome icon, um, what that's gonna do is know, it looks at what tempo the loop was created in and it's going to put it at 120, what your session is in. So you can hear whether that works in your song or not. So um, again, and then uh, here I have kicks and snares and it still has a bunch of subcategories. So you could click on one more thing. Let's do uh, trap. So I'm gonna click on kick and snare. I'm gonna add trap. And now it's given me just a couple options. It's kind of narrowing the options. I believe you could add more sample libraries to this that would be organized uh, in this way. So eventually, if you added a lot of samples to this uh, workspace browser thing with all these different categories, I think you can go in and tell it what, what type and what description eventually you would have to where you could click on some very specific things and get something exactly huh wonder what that would sound like in the song that does not work so that's uh, basically what it's for the workspace browser is to just be able to audition loops and put them into your song um Stems, uh, there's got to be more websites too. I'm sure if you just do searching around, you could find maybe one of your favorite bands that has their stems laid out. And I just think it's a great tool. Go in and listen to what do their guitars sound like by the time it makes it to. So it's just a great uh, learning tool, I think. I am constantly trying to break down what other people are doing and use that to help me get better at what I do. So again, thanks for tuning in and a little bit of Pro Tools 12.7. Give me a subscribe to my YouTube channel and looking forward to doing a lot more stuff on recording, mixing, Pro Tools, guitar, drums, bass, keys, uh, adding a lot more stuff to my YouTube channel. So. All right, that's it, signing out.